He will retouch you. That's why we get to the altar. When you go to the altar, you're not supposed to go to the altar thinking you're meeting the pastor or the bishop. That's not what you're there for. A true and authentic altar of God is always accompanied by supernatural angels that you cannot see. There are angels there that are taking count of money. There are angels there that are seeing people's sacrifices. There are angels there who are counting people's tears. There are angels there who are discerning the hearts. There are angels there that are looking at people's situations and circumstances in their life that they need to have fixed. It is angels there who are or who are literally tallying up, taking in, taking in information to convey back to God. There is fires that are being released from altars that are being placed in people's hands and placed on people's mouths and touched in people's bosoms. Supernatural stuff. This is why the altar is so important. There is praise and worship that is done on the altar when it's a real altar. So you have people that should not be restricted and limited from reaching the altar because once they get there, exchanges take place. Praise is going up and in, in exchange for your praise, there are certain levels of answers and transactions that are taking place in the church while you're at the altar. And Lord forbid if you get up there and you have worship in your spirit once you get to where you're going. Once you get to that altar and you are worshiping God in spirit, not the flesh, in spirit and in truth, then God can do exceedingly abundantly above all you even thought or thought to ask for once you got to that altar. You went there asking for what your earthly mind could perceive and conceive. But once you interacted with God and God interacted with you, he did something great and mighty on your behalf. Something for your family members, something for your children, something for your destiny, something for your body. He is a discerner. He is an x-ray he is an x-ray tech. In fact, the altar itself is the place where the x-rays take place. That's right, Eric J said, don't let your clothes stop you from coming to Christ. Allow him to change you 